With so many reports of unfair account suspensions on Amazon, you may be worried that your account could be at risk as well. In this video, I will list the top 5 ways to prevent Amazon or account suspensions on Amazon and how you can create systems as a seller to prevent those. What's up everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Tomer from SourcingMonster.com and if you are new to the channel and want to get more videos like this one about Amazon FBA and other marketplaces creating a scalable business that you can operate from anywhere in the world, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you like the video and you stay tuned. You can also ask me anything in the comment section and I personally reply to every single comment. Also try to support our channel by checking the affiliate uh, links at the bottom of this uh, video or in the description section for things that you actually need for your Amazon business. Let's start. All right, so the top five measures to take or to, to prevent a suspension. I personally never had an account suspension, but I did have listing suspensions. Um, Nah, all of them actually were by mistakes, either pesticide or sometimes they would mark my listing uh, as some uh, have issues that that are not true, and I had to provide certificates. But uh, I I know what's the feeling as a seller to have an account or uh, to have a listing suspended, and even worse, an account. Uh, uh, thanks God, I never had this issue before. But you have to really have a plan in mind. You have to have a system, and you need to be worried about it so uh not to really um put you in a like paranoid or something like that but more to be cautious and have a plan so if something like that happened you're kind of prepared so uh point number one or step number one stay updated with the seller code of conduct in terms of service this is uh periodically updated and you may miss out on the notification be proactive and reading about changes to amazon operations so that you don't uh unknowingly violate their policies so if you are kind of uh, watching uh, me for uh long enough you'll know that uh this is something that i keep you guys updated with the latest uh you know uh, seller code of uh, conduct in terms of tos terms of service to make sure that you are aware of those changes and one of the latest changes that were kind of was big was uh, about rebates uh two-step urls and giveaways yeah like giveaways uh, all these changes kind of been applied to the tos and seller code of conduct to make sure that the sellers uh, are not using them and if you do use them you're putting yourself at risk uh, st uh, point number two, be transparent with customers. Do not mid, uh, mislead Amazon customers by overselling or underselling in product description, A plus content, etc. So never really, uh, I, al al I always like to, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, provide, over deliver on things without really letting the customers. So for example, putting gifts that I'm not advertising in my listings or trying to create an exceptional customer service. Never really try to make an or, or, or promise things that you are not doing or make your product look better than what it is because it will come back to you. It will come back to you with really low reviews. It will come back to you with maybe low NCX rate. Uh, it will really come back to you. So always try to over deliver and uh, create an exceptional customer journey and customer service and beautiful packaging and beautiful experience to the customer when they receive their order free content you know always try to come up with those things because it might back it might come back to you with listing suspension most of the cases or even account suspension if you're like over promising or not really uh, uh showing your product the way it is you know only use keywords in product title that are relevant to your product uh, yeah, so one big thing that I see a lot of sellers doing is that they will put keywords that are related to their item, but it's not the product that they are selling. And because of that, customers are thinking they're ordering one thing, but then they're ordering something else. Like the point of view for the seller or the logic behind it is that you attract kind of related searches using uh, the, to, to your product and uh, by doing it, you can actually confuse customers. 
list the items condition accurately in you renewed rental used like new or open box used very good used good used acceptable in our case the uh, in our people you know listening to my channel they are mostly private label sellers but if you do wholesale make sure that you actually um, pay attention to this point number three do not engage in black hat tactics so this is in general before we kind of, uh, you know what, let's read it. But a few examples could be manipulating the Amazon algorithm, getting fake clicks and impressions or add to carts, obtaining fake positive reviews, leaving negative reviews on competitors' products, filing fake infringement claims and guest competitors, hijacking listings, and I can list more stuff. And the problem with that is that this is a short-term thinking. This is will might give you short-term success, but you know first of all i truly believe that you know karma is a bitch it will come back to you um you do those stuff to other people in some way or shape it will come back to you like i had this stuff before when i was young or i had experience when i was uh you know doing some some things like that not necessarily on amazon um um then then it always came back to me so that's you know first thing second thing you know it, it, it sucks why why hurting other people or why trying to do things that are not fair you know what's the point of it you will always carry this feeling you know if you're a bad person like i can change it but you know if you're a good man you're a good uh business or a man or woman and and you watch this you know do good things you know how you would live yourself even if you're gonna be successful in amazon but knowing that you cheat it just i'm not gonna be as sweet as you know that you did you played fair and you did it the right way maybe there are some people that don't care but i personally care and i hope you care as well um third thing with amazon amazon will find a way eventually to find out what you're doing believe me you don't even know what kind of logs they're keeping so they know kind of everything so maybe they are kind of, uh, you know, uh, closing their eyes or not really doing anything right now with things that you can get away. Or, but, you know, at some point or another, they will come back. Uh, they will come back after you. So just be careful. It doesn't work. It. It's not long term thinking. Uh, point number four, take your seller performance seriously. Avoid claims and chargebacks. Make sure that you give an exceptional customer service. If you get uh, issues with people, refund them. Don't wait for them to file chargebacks and claims because, you know, it will put your seller performance at risk. Avoid letting others expire. Do what it takes to get positive seller feedback. Avoid canceling orders unless requested to do so by the buyer. That's mainly for FBM fulfilled by merchant or for things that you carry your own stocks. Avoid let shipments. Respond to buyer messages within 24 hours. Um, all in all, you should maintain negative feedback at um, uh, below 5%, order defect rate at uh, below 10%, pre-fulfillment cancellation rates at below 2.5%, and late shipment rates, for, again, for those of you that do FBM, below 4%. If Amazon sends you any warnings, notifications, or issues, make sure that you really take action. Make sure you reply. Make sure you take this serious and not just uh, having a patch just close this, you know. Um, it's very self-explanatory, but, you know, sometimes it's... Uh, you know people forget about it so make sure that you kind of do do follow that point number five remove items that affect your account health even if it brings in high profit margin if they constantly bring in negative feedback it's best to remove them and that could be apply for products i mean that apply for products even if you have a product that you know you you make profit but long term you see that you have really terrible issues with it first thing before removing it try to fix it that's what I will do. I will try to fix it. But some products have core limitations. So when you see something like that, it's better to just sometimes get rid of it. Take the loss or uh, take the future losses of you not really having it. Because sh maybe it will be short-term profits, but long-term no. So it's better for you to use that money that you already made. Put it in a new product that actually is sustainable. What to do if you get suspended? Amazon will require you to submit formal appeal letter to its seller support and this gives you the opportunity to explain an appeal with any of their decisions for the suspension, parts of the appeal letter, summary of the issue, an explanation of why you think it happened, a clear request for a reversal of the suspension, plan of action, POA, which includes corrective actions for the short term and long term. Uh, so we created a, you know, a blog post about it, you can check it out. 
for help in creating your appeal letter, including several sample templates. Read my article, Amazon Appeal Letter Sample, create a winning appeal letter and plan of action on the Sourcing Monster blog. You can check it out here. As you can see, it's very informative and we do give templates as you can see here and stuff. So check it out. I hope you don't need to use it, but if you do, then it could be a big help for you. That's it for this video. I appreciate you watching it. Even if you don't really have any issues with Amazon right now, I definitely recommend that you watch this video. Uh, it will help you kind of uh, uh, know what to do or know how to really prevent this from the first time. That's it. Join our Facebook uh, group. It's cost $10 lifetime membership. We try to create an amazing community of sellers. Um, only if you're serious, if you're just uh, playing around, don't even bother. And uh, yeah, if also you need logistics or any other things, uh, let me know. Uh, Helium 10 discount 50% off. Check our link. Really appreciate it. Thanks for all the support and comments and love. I'll see you in the next video.